Intuitive Traders Investors, Matt Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And markets having a little bit of a long overdue risk off day, seeing the Dow essentially flatten it uh, and the spoos off about three. Uh, but here's what's very interesting, and I want to point this out. Uh, right away. The VIX uh, was up about 2-3% and has had a nice pop in the past hour or so. But here's what I, I, I really want to show you. Let me, uh, let's pull up a four hour chart here. Um, the market, uh, the, the Dow's been up all day. It's about to turn negative, but the Dow's been up all day. And as I did my live trade brief uh, this morning with my primary uh, traders, the Market was up about 15, 16 points, and the VIX was up. Now, this is a huge canary in the coal mine, guys. When the VIX is up, when the market's up, that should tell you something. That should tell you that people are not believing the hype. They're not believing this rally. They think it's long in the tooth, and they're starting to look for protection. Where do you go for protection? The VIX. And the VIX is having a nice 7% move in essentially the past couple hours. That's a, that's a pretty healthy move uh, for the VIX here. And essentially, the market's flat. If, if you look, just uh, landed from Mars and looked at the numbers, you'd be like, all right, well, the Dow's flat and the S&P's kind of flat, but the VIX is up 7%. Big canary in the coal mine, guys. And here's another big canary in the coal mine that uh, this rally's long in the tooth. It, gold. Look at the past couple days uh, for gold. Really starting to catch a bid here. Uh, as people go risk off on equities, they tend to go to the yellow metal, right? That's kind of a, a, a flock to safety, so to speak. That's where uh, people head. So VIX up, gold up. It's starting to, you know, market veterans such as myself starting to feel it in the knees and see these canaries dropping dead in the coal mine uh, that we might see something coming. Uh, something coming. Some other interesting uh, stuff to report. Goog. Look at the Goog. Uh, as I, uh, I've been telling my traders in, in my trading services, running out of steam. Uh, the news is already out there on Goog. Everybody thinks it's going to a thousand. All the analysts have come out and raced to the microphones and said a Goog a thousand, and then that's like the kiss of death. Remember Apple at seven hundred, and everybody came out and said Apple a thousand, Apple eleven eleven, and then it, it rolled over and imploded. Not saying Google's going to do that, but at least it seems like buy on the rumor, sell on the news. So the news is already out there. Everybody loves Google. Everything's great. Uh, and take a look at this. Let's take a look at the past uh, six months between Goog and uh, the other shall not be uh, mentioned tech name, Apple. You want to talk about a great uh, pairs trade. Look at this. Look at that, Goog versus Apple. So as money's rotated into uh, uh, Goog, it's rotated out of Apple. Great potential pairs trade. Actually, exponential moves uh, out of Goog here. You know, uh, Goog up 17%, uh, Apple down uh, essentially double that, right? 39% there. So uh, very interesting pairs trade. But uh, Apple had a, a little spike yesterday on some uh, watch news or whatever it was. And then Jeffrey's analyst came out today and downgraded Apple. Uh, no Apple TV this year. And, uh, you know, the Apple Watch is kind of a joke. So Apple's uh, taking it on the chin as well uh, today, which is great for us uh, in our weekly options model portfolio. Put on two trades yesterday during our live trading session, our 30-minute live trading session, an Apple Iron Condor and a, a and a gold bull put spread, and uh, couldn't have couldn't have, couldn't have placed two better trades. In two days, we're up, uh, you know, uh, over a thousand bucks. So uh, looking pretty nice, and a $1,700 gain today in our weekly options uh, model portfolio. Obviously, uh, options expiration week, but there's not a ton going on on the flight schedule yesterday. Really no economic data to report. Today, the biggest report out was the uh, NAFIB. It's a small business uh, uh, report that comes out. It was essentially flat. Uh, we were looking for a little bit more. Uh, but here's what's very interesting was the very partisan tone to this supposedly uh, impartial report. But, folks, the, the NFIB small business index report is small businesses. It's full of people that are getting hammered, maybe even being forced to become C-Corps from S-Corps because of the Obama tax increases. 
yeah, there were the Obama tax increases, just like they were the Bush tax cuts. So small business owners not in love with the president, not in love with his policies, uh, and this report reflected it. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to get some uh, look at retail sales. Thursday, weekly unemployment claims uh, and some PPI. And then Friday, uh, some CPI, some inflation numbers, Empire State Manufacturing Index, the cap rate, and also University, uh, uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment. So not, not a heavy economic week, which tells me that, uh, like I said, VIX up, gold up, all sorts of stuff. All the canaries in the coal mine are pointing uh, to a little bit of a break here. Let's take a look at this rally, guys. As you can tell, it's starting to get a little, little exhausted up at the top here. And I think we move sideways this week, especially as we get uh, ready for the uh, Armageddon budget battle. Uh, the, the, the rumble in the beltway between Boehner and the president. I don't think it's going to be the big one uh, to steal from Sanford and Son. I don't think it's going to be the big one that uh, the heart attack that this market uh, is going to see. I think that's going to come in earnings. Uh, I think Q1 earnings. Uh, are, are, you know, with the Obama tax increases, the gas uh, being at record highs, uh, just a bunch of clouds on the horizon. I think earnings will be the thing that drives this market a little bit lower, not the, the budget battle. The budget battle is going to cause this market to pause and move sideways, maybe even pull back a little bit, but not the correction that uh, this most hated rally deserves. Okay, so uh, good stuff going on at TGO. We had a great two-hour live trading session this morning. Uh, and like I said, our weekly options model portfolio is doing great. Nice. Uh, gains uh, today uh, in that portfolio as well. Okay, so got to run. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll be back with uh, tomorrow's sit rep here at Top Gun Options.